Wraiths of the Broken Land is a Western horror novel from author and filmmaker S. Craig Zoller. Another badass title from the master of badass titles. I've already made a number of other videos on S. Craig Zoller's work, so if you're a fan of his like me, then subscribe to this channel and stick around. I've reviewed his films Brawl in Cell Block 99 and Dragged Across Concrete, the latter of which I also made an in-depth video essay on. We also ran a D&D campaign based on Bone Tomahawk on this channel, and I've previously reviewed his novels Mean Business on North Ganson Street and Corpus Chrome, Inc. At the time that I'm making this, Soller has two new projects coming out soon that I am very excited for. The Slanted Gutter, a crime novel, and The Forbidden Surgeries of Dr. Divinus, a graphic novel both written and illustrated by Zoller. So keep an eye out for those. S. Craig Zoller has been a major influence on my own writing, and I got to thank him in the acknowledgments of my debut novel, The Fall of Polite, which was just released. It's a post-apocalyptic novel of survival and revenge set in a freshly lawless New England in the dead of winter. If you want to learn more about my novel or pick yourself up a copy, then check the links in the description. But that's enough about that. We're here to talk about Zoller. I'm clearly a huge fan of S. Craig Zoller's work, and the first of his projects that I had the pleasure of experiencing was his feature film directorial debut, Bone Tomahawk, which is the other project of his that Wraiths of the Broken Land is most similar to. It's also pretty similar to A Congregation of Jackals, his first novel, as both are brutal westerns, but Wraiths and Bone Tomahawk both share a horror western fusion. The basic story spine of Wraiths is a rescue mission that sees two Plugford brothers and their outlaw father, along with a couple of outsiders, heading into a hellish Mexican brothel to save their sisters from imprisonment, torture, and forced prostitution. It's a brutal story filled to the brim with compelling characters, inventive scenarios, and Zoller's trademark violence. There were a couple of moments throughout the story that had me saying, wow, out loud, then setting the book down, and just quietly reflecting on it for a couple of minutes. It's always great when a book can achieve that kind of reaction. And one of these moments came right from the first couple of pages. Wraiths is remarkably well paced. There's practically no downtime once the plot is set in motion. The one exception being an extended flashback, which deepens our understanding of the character while also being the only break from the otherwise relentless momentum. Going into this horror western after Bone Tomahawk sort of sent me into this novel with the wrong idea as to the nature and structure of the horror. Bone Tomahawk has a couple little hints of horror early on, but it's really only in the last 15 minutes or so of the film that it twists into full-on horror to shocking and impressive effect. Because of the way the structural genre change was handled in Bone Tomahawk, I was expecting the same sort of thing in Wraiths. As I was reading, I kept anticipating a moment where a major stylistic shift would happen and plunge the story into all-out horror, but that didn't happen. With Wraiths of the Broken Land, there's no sudden jump into horror, but rather a steady blending of Western and pulp horror all throughout right from the very beginning. The horror comes from the extent of the brutality and the lengths of the bloody carnage strewn throughout the narrative. The confines of this brothel are truly nightmarish, hell on earth. Reading the experiences of the two sisters trapped in this place generates an intense degree of empathy as they suffer through their excruciating conditions. And then there's the scorpions, good stuff. Read the book to see how the scorpions come into play. Just know that the scorpion on the cover wasn't randomly chosen because of the setting or something like that. It's, it's important, it's pivotal. The characters are all well-drawn and distinct from one another. The standout character for me was Long Clay, a former member of the Plugford Patriarch's gang who is unflinching in his brutality and downright terrifying in the lengths he will go to ensure the job is a success. He's less of a protagonist and more of a fucked up bad guy who just so happens to luckily be on the good guy's side. He's an extremely compelling character who you can fear, hate, and root for all at the same time. The other characters are all interesting, well-rounded, and believable in their personal goals, morals, and breaking points. One of my favorite things about S. Craig Zoller's stories is how unpredictable they are, and Wraiths of the Broken Land is no exception. I think it's always great for a story like this to keep you in the dark as to who will live and who will die. Guessing who will make it to the end of Wraiths is a bit of a futile act, and I love that about it. This is an action-packed read told through Zoller's flavorful prose. There's hard-edged Western violence delivered with style to spare. If you're a fan of Zoller's other books or a fan of his movies, then you've got to check out Wraiths of the Broken Land. I also want to shout out something for if you've already read Wraiths and are looking for even more Zoller writing. You can listen to his radio play, or audio state as it's also known, for The Narrow Caves. It's a cosmic horror story conceived of as a screenplay and executed as a fully produced Fangoria presentation. 
You should be able to find it in the podcast app of your choosing. That's where I listen to it. It's fully voiced with the talents of Wyatt Russell, Lily Simmons, Vincent D'Onofrio, and Will Patton, and it features extensive foley to really give it a true cinematic feeling. One of the best parts about The Narrow Caves is actually the original score, especially the theme song that plays at the start of each episode. So badass. It is done by Zoller himself as part of his synth duo with Jeff Harriet binary reptile. If you haven't already, then check out some of the other S. Craig Zoller content I've made on this channel. Subscribe and stick around for more. Thanks for watching. And yes, this is my real voice. It's what I sound like all the time. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.